Okay, so this is the uh, PM workout. So basically, I'm alternating two different two different sessions. One is uh, heavily shoulders, upper body, let's say. So clean and press dips, and on that day in the PM, I do the uh, snatches. Uh, on the other day, it's more lower body, so that's. Uh, pull-ups, well it's legs and back rather than lower body, so pull-ups and uh, kettlebell squats in the AM and in the PM it's uh, swings. Okay, so far so good, so just alternating those two workouts. Uh, so what a, what a device for this one. Now, now I've, got, now I've got, got into the swing of this uh, I've got into the swing of it. <laughs> now I've got into into this uh, programming, and I'm enjoying it. So I think I'm going to stick with it for a while. And it's uh, good for good for good for everything I want to achieve: conditioning, weight loss, uh, my fat loss. So I created this uh, cycle. It's 33 workouts. So every other day, 33 workouts, and it starts off well, today. It's going to be 20 sets of 7 with 40 kilos. Okay, and the, which, if you add it all up, is a, a little bit under 6,000 kilos. Uh, and the end result is 20 sets of 9 with 50 kilos, which is a grand total of 9,000 kilos. So, Hopefully we get there. So the, the idea of the, you know, 33 steps from where I am now to where I want to be. Uh, one of the reasons that I changed it up is because I want to use use this this kettlebell handle for every set. I don't know if you can see, it, but uh, so the kettlebell handle. Can you see it there? Where my foot is? Yeah. Okay. So the kettlebell handle, I find it's. Uh, a lot more comfortable than uh, using two two separate kettlebells. Uh, does that make it easier? I'm not sure. You know, the same weight. But, uh, I like I like it anyway. I like the, I like that kettlebell handle for these swings. So I'm just gonna do a very very short workout, uh, warm up, and then I'll get into it. So I'll do a couple of reps with these smaller weights. Chalk of my hands because the kettlebell is wet. Even though, even though I'm trying to drive and still stay, stay pretty wet. So I'm doing a very minimal workout. Minimal. Keep saying it. A very minimal warm up. Because I've already trained this morning and I believe that there's some. Some residents, some residue. Can't talk. Can't talk. There's some residue from the AM session. Could be wrong on that, but I'm going to chop my hands up again, and hopefully hopefully 
the chalk stays on. Now this, uh, this liquid chalk's got like a uh, solidified become a bit like butter and just about get it out okay so start again try again so here we go now so it sets up seven so I've got I've got two big discs that used to be 20 kilos, but they, that's when they had rubber around them, so they, 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 were, they were rubber coated. I've taken off the rubber. Uh, I've got no idea what their actual weight is. I'm assuming they're 20s. Uh, but what I've done, I've put on a two and a half kilo disc just to make up for the missing rubber. Drying the hands. Okay, I'm gonna get some powder chalk, this is not working. See, it's all the wet here. Better. Okay, get in there. So that's set four. So 
So previously I was using two sixteens, two twenties and a fifty. Fifty kilos as on this big one. But now I'm gonna do them all on this with forty kilos on it. That's a quarter, isn't it? Twenty-five percent down. So yeah, from here to. Uh, To the end point, that's a, a big, a big brilliance. So I'm going to be using three different weights, all set up on this handle, so 30, 40, 50. I mean, that, that's not exact. You know, I'm not taking into account the weight of the handle, so it is actually slightly heavier. But If you want, it's 30, 40, 50 plus handle every time. That's seven, so that's about a third of the way done. Not bad, is it? I think today I'm going to stick a couple of sets of uh, abs on the end as well. Do the swings and then do a few token sets of abs just to keep it going. Three sets, three sets of abs. Set number nine. Swinging in the rain.
So this idea is called the volume cycle. Basically, every step of the way is slightly heavier every time. So even though you're using a variety of weights and sets and reps, every session is harder than the last by a moderate amount, let's say. I think it works out about, not exactly, but about a hundred kilos more every session. So it starts, I think it's 5,900 kilos, I think, and it ends at 9,000 kilos. So it's 20 sets of seven. Obviously, 140 reps times 40 kilos. That's the calculation. And it ends 20 sets of 9 times 50 kilos. So, 12 sets, so yeah, this is, this is hard, but it's doable. Another feature of this is, it creeps up to 30 sets. So you get the sort of like, you get the volume over 30 sets, but then you make, you make it harder, you compress it down, back down to 20 sets. There's two aspects to it. There's a volume and then there's a density. So for the volume, you achieve it over 30 sets and then you achieve it over 20 sets, which is obviously far harder. So the it's all, on a, it's all done on a, a one minute timer. So whereas initially you take 30 minutes to do it, you end up taking 20 minutes to do it. Okay, 13 so far. So seven more, seems very doable. Not easy, but not a killer. Two thirds done.
quarters done, 15. Five sets to go. He'll definitely go. No doubt about it. So last session I think, I think the average amount of reps was about seven. I mean I varied it up a bit. So it went six, seven, eight on the double sixteens. It went five, six, seven on the uh, double twenties. And it went five, six, seven, eight on the fifties. So yeah, probably about six and a half really on average. Okay, three to go. Then I'm going to do three sets of abs. Two to go. Also, the thing about this one, this setup I've got, you know, some of the some of the reps are quite high. I think it goes to a peak of 14 reps. So that's with the 30 kilos. So obviously. When you're using the 50 kilos, it's quite low reps. When you're using the 30 kilos, it's quite high reps. There's plenty of variety involved in this one. But as I say, all the way through it's progressive. One more. So every session is heavier than the last one. When you when you end up with you know the total reps times the weight, it's always heavier. So it's on, it's, it's it's a linear progression all the way through it. Yeah, last one. Okay, good stuff. So it wasn't a killer at all, that one. It was just... Nice. Nice. Okay. Uh... I'm not going to film the ab work, so bye for today.